Hey guys, Cooters here with another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing a sound mixer or soundboard. Um, I think it's technically called a sound effects board by Mackie. It's the Mackie Pro V8 V2. Pro Pro FX V8. We'll, we'll look at it. We'll look at the box. Unfortunately, it's really hot here. I'm sweating like crazy, as you can tell. Um, it's like 90 degrees out today, and my apartment is... There's no air conditioning, so it's like... I think it's basically like like 80 degrees here and like my face is just it's it's so bad it's so bad anyway well this is the box it is the pro let's read it the pro fx8 v2 there you go and they call it an effects mixer i've always called this a sound mixer or a soundboard but uh the reason why they call it the effects mixer is because it comes with effects ready stuff like reverb and i guess you'd say um delay and stuff like that so it's all just built in to the board itself so you don't actually have to use either software or some third-party hardware for that uh the reason why i picked this one up is because i'm using it for my stream and i also i wanted the usb uh capability of being able to connect it right to my computer um so that's really nice. You don't have to convert anything. Um, really cool. Right now, what I'm doing with my microphone, my microphone is going to be one of the peripherals or one of the uh, things that are going to be plugged into this board, obviously, uh, so I can balance it. But um, I'm using this Shure X2. Is that what it's called? X2U. Sorry, it's like a XLR2 USB um, preamp with with some some control, but it's not great, and it's a little hard to monitor, especially when I'm, I, I'd have to be looking over uh, the way I routed the cable. So anyway, let's go ahead and, and start opening this up. Um, or actually, I'll show you the box. So pretty much normal picture here, some extra uh, info there. And then this actually on the back provides you with the diagram of you know where all the inputs and outputs are, sliders, where everything's located on the board itself. That's pretty much it. It's heavy. Unfortunately, I can't move. This is a webcam I use for streaming. So I can't actually you or move the the camera to like angle it well because it's on a tripod behind my monitors. So we're gonna deal with this and see um, if I can figure out the best way to show this to you guys. This is this is like a beastie thing. It weighs. I think it weighs. I want to say 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds. It's pretty heavy, um, and I'm worried about dropping it. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, they taped this up well. They shipped it actually. Uh, I think it was was it just in this box? I don't remember anymore. Maybe not. I'm trying to remember. I got it from Adorama because um, they sell like lighting and uh, photo equipment and sound equipment. Um, they're kind of like BH Photo Video. The reason I got it from them is because it was actually on sale and it had a mail-in rebate. Um, so you could have saved a lot on it. It's normally two hundred dollars MSRP, I believe, right now. Um, but I got it for I think it was like one. 60 or 160 but then it had a $30 million rebate on top of that. Do not get stabbed, kitty cat. Um, but yeah, so it was quite the savings, I guess. Um, and it was, it was kind of, or not ironic, but it was actually lucky on my part because I actually needed exactly this. Uh, this was the exact board I was looking at. like, And I almost kind of bit the bullet, so to speak, uh, to just, or pull the trigger or whatever on buying it. Um, anyway. Let's open it up. Hopefully you guys can see some of that. Oh, don't drop. Okay. So, um, comes with a little like owner's manual or quick start guide showing you where all the inputs are and, and everything like that. Um, and these are the different models. If you can see, there's all the way up to, I don't know how many channels that is. We'll say like 40. I'm not sure. Uh, but this, this particular model that you can buy normally from like consumer and possibly prosumer places are, I think up to about 12 channels. Um, I'm sure you can, if you go to their website, they probably go up to, um, well, it shows right here, actually. It wasn't 40, it was 30, I just noticed. So they have the Pro uh, FX8, uh, the 12, the 16, the 22, and the 30. So all those uh, five things basically use the same quick start guide because they're all pretty much running on the same hardware, but just kind of uh, set up differently. This has more, it just has more channels, really. Um, I don't know, there might be more to do with it, but that's the main thing. I was going to go with the, um, they have a Pro FX4, I think, a four channel. The reason I didn't go with the four channels is because um, I have about three three uh, things I would, or peripherals I would use for uh, channels, and I, I kind of wanted to have upgradeability or expandability where um, my cat's going to try to get in this box because she loves boxes. Uh, she's That's what she's here for. So it comes with the um, USB cable. This is like a USB Type B, I believe, to plug into your computer or whatever you want to use. And then. Um, 
this is just a power cable. So we'll leave these in the box. Um, I'm gonna close this box because my cat will go into it and I don't really want her to wreck anything or bite anything. So let me just put a lid on it. Let me just put this down. Okay, so here's the actual unit. Let's open it up. Um, it's fairly large in terms of like its footprint. So if you don't have a lot of desk space, oh, I guess it's, it's actually sealed. I thought it was just gonna be my knife. I lost my knife. Oh well. Um, I don't know where I put my knife. But let me just, I'll just tear it open. So here it is. I don't have room for it yet. I mean, I kind of do, but I'm going to end up changing around my, my setup. So one of these days I'll notice things that will be different. Silica package or whatever to keep it dry. Ooh, that, that wasn't good. Um, <laughs> so here it is itself, uh, the board itself. And it's pretty. Um, so you got your sliders down here for whatever uh, channels you want. Um, and then, of course, equalizer. And then if you want to kind of get your equalizer on the fly, I guess it actually has um, all your tones here if you want to get some mids in and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if I'll actually be using this um, graphic EQ, but it's nice to have. And then this, of course, is the uh, meter for your sound output. Um, it's nice to see this. I mean, if you have the board set up in a way where you can actually uh, monitor this this graph, um, you can kind of tell if you're peaking and stuff like that. So that's that's actually a really nice feature to have. Um, normally, you know, I the only time I'm using something like this is when I'm editing videos, and I actually have one on this um, this preamp, but uh, it's color coded. So if I talk very loudly, it will turn yellow, like or orange, like you saw, or if I yell, it will turn red. So I'm peaking a bit here because it's, I haven't actually turned the gain all the way up on this thing to even pick up sound or else it's too quiet. So that's why, that's another reason why um, with this microphone stuff, I wanted to switch to um, this board or a board in general. Uh, and then these are the, the built-in um, effects right here on the effects engine. And it says, it tells you um, the presets. So you have bright room, warm lounge, warm lounge, small stage, warm theater, warm hall, concert hall, plate reverb, cathedral, chorus, chorus plus re reverb. Doubler, echo, delay one, delay two, delay three. There's just fast, medium, slow, and then pan delay. So pretty basic stuff, um, but kind of cool if you want to just add in some effects. Um, and you can, of course, you know, change how much, um, I guess, you know, what's the term? Um, uh, I can't think of the, the, the term right now, but how powerful it is. Um, that's the best I can think of right now. Okay, um, that's about it. Phantom power. And then, of course, you know, you have your XLR inputs for your microphones normally. And then um, just normal stereo inputs here uh, for your other channels. And then, yeah, RCA unbalance cables. Um, sorry, it's so hot. And let's see, on this itself, it's, I mean, the, this in the back itself, it has your um, XLR left and right balanced input there. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a nice thing, and your USB, of course, is here. It's a nice kind of board, especially if uh, you want to kind of Connected to a computer, I think that's really the main part of it. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I would if you never if you're not gonna use the USB, there's no point to actually put money into it because you might as well just go with a normal soundboard or, or a mixing board that that doesn't need the USB feature. But it's nice. It's a nice to have, in my opinion. Um, that's really about it. I mean, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, then they have the four channel. If you wanted, I think if you were to travel with this, if you're a DJ. You know, you need like four channels for your microphone and then maybe some other like, um, I don't know if you use machines like drum machines or anything like that to kind of add stuff to your songs or even like your turntables, I guess you can use those. I don't know if those connect digitally or um, I, n I don't do like turntable stuff. I know you can buy ones that connect digi digitally. I know you, ones that you can buy ones that connect through like, you know, RCA and stuff. So um, it I guess four would be n nice minimal to be able to like carry it around. But if you need like multiple devices that, you know, exceeds four, obviously you'd have to go with like an eight. And this is a little bulky to carry around, but if you're carrying around turntables and stuff, I'm sure this wouldn't be much of an issue because it's about the same size. So yeah, actually the footprint, I mean, it's rather large for a desk if you're gonna use it at like a like a home studio or something like that. I mean, it's pretty big. You can see compared to my face, I have a big head. So this is a pretty big board. God, it's so hot, oh my God, I'm looking at the screen. It's so hot. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is the Mackie Pro FX8 V2. And uh, I can't wait to set it up. Um, it's gonna be good. And we're gonna get all the levels right.
All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know this is kind of like a, a weird type of, uh, not eclectic, but kind of weird item that most people wouldn't be interested in, but there might be some soundies out there or audiophiles that might be really into this kind of gear. So thanks for checking out the video. Uh, I do really appreciate it. Check me out on stream, twitch.tv slash cooters. And as I always say, remember to do big, do good, and do you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.